What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be going over some recent DCEU news that is just insane. Now obviously guys, DCEU stuff isn't the main thing on my channel. It's more Arrowverse DC TV stuff. Um, so if you guys like the DCEU stuff, I'll try to make more uh, videos of that. Obviously there's a lot of that stuff in the news right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get more videos out on the DCEU because, you know, I'm also really interested in it right now. But the first thing we got to go over is about the Flash movie. Now, obviously, guys, the first Flash movie now isn't isn't projected to come out until summer of 2023, obviously, because of all the legal trouble that Ezra Miller has gotten into. So they're just, I guess, deciding, you know, what should happen with the movie uh, because of that. But nonetheless, we'll still be getting the movie. Um, now, it has also been uh, been recently rumored that Ezra Miller will just be completely cut out of the movie. They're going to hire somebody else. Um, I forget who they were thinking of hiring, but yeah, he actually could uh, fit pretty well in the role of Barry Allen. Um, so yeah, comment what you guys think about that. Do you think they should, you know, just keep, just keep it how it is and just never have Ezra Miller play The Flash ever again? Or do you think they should completely reshoot the movie with a new actor as The Flash? But yeah, I, I highly doubt Ezra Miller will ever be playing The Flash again, seeing as how I think they said he was like facing up to 26 years in prison, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about the, the Flash sequel movie, which is it's crazy to think about um, but we actually do know that they have actually already written a script for the a potential flash second movie um, which you know I did not expect at all seeing as how we're still months away from the first movie but yeah if I had to guess I'd say that they'd recast Barry Allen for both movies um, just because this Ezra Miller situation is absolutely insane like he's insane let's be honest um, so yeah I just think they're they're gonna recast somebody a lot better um, and who will actually probably fit the role of Barry Allen much better uh, but anyways what could a uh, like a potential storyline be for a flash sequel maybe like you know I was kind of thinking like a flash rebirth arc maybe at the end of the flashpoint movie coming out in the summer of 2023 um, we see Barry like become quote-unquote erased from existence like maybe like getting stuck in the speed force just like the comics um, which that all could set up like I said a rebirth storyline um, I think that could definitely work but you know like I said before comment your guys's thoughts on that down below but now let's get into the more exciting news in my opinion the confirmation of Man of Steel 2 and for those who don't know yes it's apparently reported that Henry Cavill will be returning for the role of Superman now Obviously, I think this sequel finally happening has to do with the new Warner Brothers executives and the big merger and all that stuff. So that's definitely good. Um, I'm just, I just really, I would be so cool to see a second Man of Steel movie after all this time. It's been nine, ten years since the first one came out. Um, so if we get another one with uh, Henry Cavill as Superman, I think that could be a little weird, but you know, good weird if that makes sense. Um, so just seeing that, I think would be awesome. Now, obviously, the confirmation of Man of Steel 2 does bring up some questions. Um, so, just off of that, something I'd like to see in the movie would be them trying to connect it to the Snyder Cut of Justice League instead of the theatrical cut, just because it would make so much more sense and would probably make for a better movie. Um, obviously, they also released the storylines of what would have been Zack Snyder's Justice Leagues 2 and 3, with Superman temporarily becoming evil, basically being Darkseid's uh, toy. Yeah, I don't know if they want to like try to make an effort to connect all of that as well because I don't know it seems kind of late to make Justice League sequels but if they want to go for it I wouldn't be mad whatsoever but obviously it's also completely possible that they just continue with the narrative of them connecting uh, the theatrical cut of Justice League to the rest of the DCEU I think you know that's what they've been doing um, but it's just the fact that it's Superman that you know we haven't seen him since like 2017 um, as in like in a new movie I mean unless you want to count Justice or the Snyder cut and the only reason I'm bringing up the possibility of them actually connecting this to like the Snyder cut is because recently with you know all the new stuff that Warner Bros is doing they've actually been endorsing the Snyder cut so I think that um, if they were to connect it uh, to connect Man of Steel 2 to the Snyder cut I don't think it would make or I don't think it would be that surprising um, but also I think they're just gonna still stick with them just connecting it to the theatrical cut because then it would kind of, I guess, maybe screw up the DCEU, but I think it would still be cool if they tried to connect it to the, the Snyder Cut and the rest of the Justice League movies if they're still planning on, you know, not making them. Now, as for potential storylines and villains in Man of Steel 2, 
I think seeing the return of Lex Luthor would be pretty cool, um, obviously because he's Superman's greatest enemy, maybe they even try and throw in Darkseid, you know, like I said, if we don't get um, any of those other Justice League movies, which I'm going to assume we won't, um, and then, you know, if they, if we never get, you know, any mention of him in the Flash movie, you know, maybe from Ben Affleck's Batman, anything like that, um, if we get none of him in that, I think that it would be really cool if they tried to throw him in in the Man of Steel 2 movie. Um, but otherwise, I'm not really sure what they, where they could go for, you know, storylines in Man of Steel 2. Uh, make sure you guys comment your thoughts on that down below as well. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say about all this. But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below and comment, like I said, all, your thoughts on all this stuff as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.